on YouTube? How are we doing? Listen, we got a fantastic show lined up for y'all today. I am in beautiful St. Augustine, Florida at Pappy's on the Marsh with Mr. Paul Guidry. Listen, it's amazing when you get out and, and, and you get to meeting people, uh, you find Cajuns all over the world, right? So even in St. Augustine, Florida, we got some Cajuns. Paul's from uh, Rain, Louisiana, right? Yep, yep. Yeah. I think you've been a lifelong resident of uh, Florida, uh, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah, yeah. I'm about four. So listen, in Florida, uh, one of their big staples is key lime pie. So I would love to bring y'all a authentic key lime pie from Florida with a fantastic recipe from, from a Cajun. How about that, right? So hey, listen, stay tuned. We're going to get ready. We're going to get with it. All right, Mr. Paul? All right, so uh, key lime pie all over Florida. I want to thank Captain Kobe coming out here to St. Augustine, visiting us. Biggest celebrity we've had here at St. Augustine <laughs> since, since Ponce de Leon. Yeah, you know right. Hey. About St. Leon, you know Ponce de Leon, that's the guy. So like thank it. you for coming on out you here. You got it anytime. Been having a great time this week. And I know, Miss Tony, you want to get to the beach, so we're going to get this on the road. Uh, key lime pie all over Florida. I've eaten a lot of places. One of the best ones I ever had was a conch house here in okay. town. They've been making it that way for 32 years. And it made me change my recipe and look for more. And so we're gonna kind of go that way today. But I always use my own crust, make my own crust. It always comes out a little better, but you can use a store crust, make it easy. And then it, it's really easy for anybody to make. Okay. And uh, so you use your graham cracker crumbs. I don't bang up the crackers myself. I buy them already crumb. And I pretty much follow the recipe on the box. My plate's a little bigger, so I got a little extra. But uh, okay. pretty much all we do is we're gonna grab a bowl here. Uh, we got graham cracker crumbs already measured out. Uh, Brown sugar, and I always kind of thing with brown sugar and butter is it's better to have a little too much than not enough. Absolutely, that's and how we say Maybe a lot it. too much. That's so, a Louisiana yeah. thing. So I uh, got the brown sugar <laughs> in there, and then we're gonna throw some, right. go ahead. You throw the melted butter, just mix it on up. You need me to mix that just up for you? mix it over there and if you want, and all right. we'll mix it up till it's all mixed up, we'll dump it in this plate. All right, let me get the mixing in. It is easy. Come on, get a shot in here while I'm mixing this up. And of course, we ain't putting any Captain Kobe's in there right now, <laughs> but I will put it in most everything else that I cook, except for dessert. We should have a contest. Yeah, I'm in. Captain Kobe seasoning, dessert seasoning contest. Oh, I'm in for that. <laughs> I don't know if I'll do well, but yeah, get it up there. It's hot, nice and mixed up moist there. All right. And we just dump it right on in here. Doing that right? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Let's take that. I'll take that and take it up the sides and just get it kind of even. However, listen, I'm not a big, uh, not really a big dessert maker, so I'm I'm, I'm excited for yeah. this this little video. Here. Yeah, we go. Hey, one pie crust ready to go. Okay, go. So. Recipe says you can cook it or don't cook it. I like to give it a little cook, like it says on the box, about six, eight minutes, sometimes maybe a little longer. I like to get it brown a little bit, make Crisp it a little it more crunchy. Yeah, absolutely. It. So we're gonna go throw that in the oven and we'll be back in a minute. Let's make it happen. All right, let's check this out. Let's see what we looking like. All right, look at that, got it going good. Got it, you see it's starting to get, starting to get dark right around the edges there. Oh, get yeah, a little bit kind of good crunchy stuff with that brown sugar and butter. So I think we're gonna call it done now. All right, I like it. All right, everybody, we uh, we have our pie crust made right here. Come on and get a shot in this. It's our pie crust. See, we got it in the oven nice and nice and little brown, crispy there on the edges. A little bit of darkness in there, a little bit of caramelization. You give it that brown sugar and butter. You watch Amberell on Food Network, you're going to know brown food tastes good. That's right, right? babe. That's how it goes. <laughs> All right, so now we want to make the uh, the inner part of the pie, which I have absolutely no idea how to do. So we're gonna leave that all up to Paul right here. All right, got it. Got it easy again. Okay. Um, got, got the recipe, I think. And this here is a Nellie and Joe's key lime juice. They make a couple different versions. This is a good one. They got a recipe on the back of here, and we're just gonna change it a little bit because, like I said, I want to get that really good pie like the Conk House does. Okay. And so we got that little bit of secret ingredient here. Almost exact recipe is here. So we're gonna drop a little of this uh, cream cheese in here. And and cheese always makes everything a little bit better, no, it right? Does, man. <laughs> I like it. And it gives it that richer, richer flavor. So we're gonna need about uh, 
three quarter cup. We got a little bit bigger pie plates. So I might do a little closer to cup. No lecture, it can't hurt nobody, right? Yeah. All right. The key lime juice, it's just a little tartar in lime juice. This this stuff you get at stores everywhere. I used to get it on live in California and Arizona, I'd okay. see it. So so it don't matter where you at, don't have to just be in Florida. Yeah. You can get that pretty much everywhere. You don't got to squeeze okay. the lime. If you want to squeeze the lime, man, more power to you as far as I'm concerned. Go ahead, we can drop that in. Okay. Uh, I'm going to drop in. That's like the hardest thing I had to measure right there. Okay. We got one whole can of this, and we got to scrape it all out. We don't leave any of that behind. Oh, I got that. You that's, leave it back, I'm putting my finger in that's there. That's the goodness, right? Off, that's <laughs> sweet and condensed milk. One can, sweet and condensed milk. Uh, and that's just the best stuff ever. All right, look at that. All right, we'll just set that in there for a sec. We've got to have to get a little bit of this goodness in there. Yeah, I, I mean, like I said, that can, that can when it goes in the garbage, is going to be lit clean. That's how it works. <laughs> All right. All right. We got three egg yolks here. Already did that to make it easy for TV. Got it. Okay. And then we we'll drop that cream cheese in. All right. We're gonna, we're gonna mix, mix it up. You gonna let me do the mixing? You want to do it? Yeah. Here. Don't matter. That for you. Get that out the way. That's why you leave a little taste. Yeah. I usually do a lot of finger licking when I'm cooking and stuff because this is uh. I don't want any health department people coming after me. I don't want to make this too hard. Yeah, there you get it there. Just keep mixing it, get all them chunks, keep like getting all them chunks out of there. All right. All right, now, you guys said, take, take a little taste, see if we need any lime juice. Hey, I tell you what, just any, listen. Any Captain Kobe's? Might need a little something. Cajuns, we always do, we always taste as we go. See how we're looking right here. Hey, that's good. Good that's deal. Really All good. right, we're set. All right. What we got left, you man? On or you just pour it just in dump pan? it in here. Man, I want to eat some more of that. Depending on how well you scrape it out there, you might have a little bit to eat. You might not. Might have a little extra. Yeah. We're gonna lick the spoon when it's said and done. It goes in the oven 350, 12 minutes, 14 minutes, till you feel like it sets up good, and then you refrigerate it till it sets up. Okay. All right. All right, there you go. That's it. All right. Let's go cook it, babe. Let's do it. All right, it's done. We'll get it out the oven, check on it. We had it in there about 14 minutes or so. It's still a little, little uh, loose, loose, but that's okay because what we're gonna do, we're gonna let it cool off, and okay. the cream cheese is gonna help it set up. A lot of times, people put gelatin in their key lime pie, but the gelatin is gonna probably have the same. The key lime is gonna have the same effect as gelatin. So you just let it set down out here about a half hour or so at least, come to room temperature, and then. You put it in the refrigerator overnight, it gets nice and solid, and we'll see you when we start eating next. All right, moment of truth here. Uh, let's taste this key lime pie. See how we did. See how Paul's recipe compares to the compound, right? Mm. The process we're making, honestly, is it's, it's fantastic. Uh, it's got my mouth watering so much with, with, with the, with the uh, key lime in there. Listen, this is truly phenomenal. Y'all, please try this, taste this. It's phenomenal. Like I said, Florida staple right here. If you want a piece of Florida, right here in, in your uh, in your own home, it's fantastic. I want to thank Mr. Paul Gidrick for uh, his fantastic recipe, and uh, I want to thank uh, Packers on the March for hosting us today and uh, letting us enjoy this fantastic pie. So as I, as we always say, listen, keep cooking, and we we'll see y'all in the kitchen. Bye.